For the first time ever, we have a plan to tackle some of the most urgent crises of our time. The Green New Deal. The Green New Deal, it's not even a plan. It's literally just Green New Deal. They don't say anything in it about how to do anything, actually. They just, it's just a wish list. It's not a plan. There is no plan in this. They just say, hey, we want to get all done by 2030. We have no idea how. We have no idea what to do or how to do it. This video is starting out great. Oh my, but there, there's no way, like, you, like they don't even say, they don't even say in it, hey, you know, every time some kids lose a tooth, we're going to tax that 95%, whatever dime they get under there, like, they, they don't say anything about how to do anything or nothing, this is just some stupid thing that they're doing this now, because I don't know, D Democrats and liberals, okay, I don't, I don't know, so we're starting the video out real well. It's been put forward by Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the Sunrise Movement, and Justice Democrats. Here's what it is. The Green New Deal calls for achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2030. Guaranteeing everyone a good job and providing targeted investment in low-income communities and communities of color. Okay, so here we go. He's just starting out the list of nothing. I do, like, they're not telling us how to pay for it or anything. They're not doing anything about that. And uh, so, yeah, just a list of things, and that's pretty much it. And what is a good paying, what's a good job and all these other things. Like they, like they don't really explain because a lot of these things are opinionated. That means upgrading every building and mode of transportation in this country. And upgrading our entire power grid to achieve maximal energy efficiency. Holy shit, good luck with that. Leading climate scientists have said that the only historic parallel to the kind of mass mobilization we need to avoid economic and climate disaster is the mass economic plan the United States underwent to build arms for World War II. A mobilization that created the modern American middle class. That's why the Green New Deal is not just another climate policy. Okay, I love this freeze frame, but that's not the point. This is another climate policy with no, nothing, there, there no, nothing to explain or nothing to help how to fix things. Except for just saying, hey, we need to do this. But how are we going to do this? you got to explain how. Like FDR's New Deal, it is a call to redefine politics and establish a new social contract for America. In line with the economic and ecological realities of the 21st century. It is one where no matter the color of your skin, where your parents are from, or how much money you make, you are entitled to basic rights. We do already have a lot of those basic rights, but one of those is not the health care which they are talking about to a good job transforming our country, to clean air, water, and food, into a stable climate able to sustain human civilization. It is about firmly saying no one should have to live in fear of losing the people and places they love to a crisis that we have the power to stop. The original New Deal created the greatest middle class America has ever seen. Do the Democrats want another war so we can create another great middle class? I I'm just confused by this at this point. This is kind of pointless because I don't know why we talk about people's colors or people's skin and this stuff, honestly. But many of its promises were deliberately kept away from people of color and women. Today, the youngest, most diverse, and most female working class deserves a renewed investment that allowed so many Americans to prosper in the 20th century. The UN's IPCC report last October by the world's top climate scientists laid out in stark terms how we have 12 years to transform our economy and society to preserve the stable climate that human civilization depended on for millennia. I'm just curious real quick, are these the same scientists that said that we would all be dead by like 2010 or 2012 or something like that? We don't rise to the challenge, the wildfires, hurricanes, and heat waves that claim thousands of American lives in the past few years will claim millions of lives within our lifetimes. The science is clear. The solutions are ready, overwhelmingly popular, and would create millions of good jobs. I'm still curious on what a good job is. I didn't know working for power companies would be a good job, but okay. And um, I don't think, how are we gonna get to the solutions? I still don't know how we're gonna get to the solutions. You guys have never told us how we're going to get to the solutions because that's what we have to do to get to these solutions. We have to mine the earth for the materials. So yeah. We have to do mining, which is something you guys probably don't want to do because you guys don't like all this coal and crap and stuff that's in the air. But, you know, ugh. we got to save the planet by taking everything over and free health care. That's exactly what I'm getting from this whole thing. That's what I'm getting from this whole crap.
That's all that I understand. Now politicians have a choice. Will they find the courage to stand up to the fossil fuel billionaires who bankroll both parties? Or will they choose to condemn millions of people to a future without the livable planet human civilization has depended on for millennia? The Green New Deal is gaining momentum. Hundreds of organizations and politicians have already endorsed it. And nearly all of the major Democratic presidential contenders in 2020 say they back the idea. Yeah, they back the idea because they haven't read anything from the idea. They haven't read anything from the Green New Deal. They just said, oh, it looks cool and I'd like to support it because I'm corrupt and I like money and they aren't going to do it anyway. It's not gonna, they're not going to help you out with it. They don't care. They don't care about you. They only care about themselves. So you dare say that, that this is good. They don't really care about supporting it. Because they haven't read now it. Now they all have an opportunity to back up their words by sponsoring this resolution. That's what any politician who wants to be taken seriously on climate and economic policy will do. It's time for a democratic party that fights for big solutions that match the scale of our crises. Climate change, skyrocketing inequality, and deepening structural racism. What? Like, I... Uh, all right, uh, I don't like know what to say to this because why don't you want Republicans to support this too? Don't you want everybody to support it? If it's overwhelming majority likes it, probably Repu some Republicans probably like it, right? So why don't you want Republicans to get into this? Because you know, because you know this is bullcrap, and Democrats are the only ones that pander to you. This is stupid. This is ridiculous. We're going to be taking the fight for a Green New Deal to every corner of America. We're going on a 15-city tour and a 50-state campaign starting in early primary states to build the political and public support for the Green New Deal. If you're a Democrat running for president or for Congress, we're calling on you to co-sponsor and support AOC's Green New Deal. Yeah, the Green New Deal sucks. You, like, how about we tackle one thing at a time, AOC? Like, you don't have to tackle racism income quote-unquote inequality and climate change all in one deal you know how much that is in one deal that's a lot of crap in one deal that is and you know what i don't agree, disagree on everything i don't but guess what nobody's gonna support the idea of putting a thousand together into one little thing and just saying, hey, free crap everywhere. Nobody needs a freaking work that doesn't want to work. Well, guess what? A lot of people don't want to work, but a lot of people work. Because guess what? It's the only way to have the economy move. And you pretty much don't want the economy anymore because you want the government to control it, which is fine. Just say it. Say it out loud. I don't care what you think. I want the government to handle everything. Just say it out loud. Say I want to get rid of all of all of free markets and I want to get rid of everything. I just want the government to give you crap. You work for the government. That's it. You get government notes. That's it. Well, they do get government notes. It's called money. But still, you guys know what I mean. This is complete bullshit. This, is, this whole thing is complete bullshit.